Hello guys, Keep on TV here, back for yet another match preview. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can hit 50 likes. That will be massively appreciated. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop a sub. And uh, yeah, let's get straight onto the preview. So, Coventry, tomorrow, um, it's a derby. And finally, we're actually going to be playing away at that. They've got their own stadium now. I mean, the last couple of times they've been playing at St Andrews, we've been the away side. I mean... The last four times we've played Coventry in the past two seasons, they've basically been all draws. I know we, we won on a penalty shootout, but in normal time, it was a draw. Um, and uh, yeah, and finally, like I said, finally, they've got their actual own stadium. So yeah, it's going to be good for the fans that are making the trip. Um, you know, we don't have to this, we don't have to this time sit in the away end in our own stadium, which I found <laughs> that was absolutely just that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. But yeah, Coventry are having a brilliant season. They're currently sitting fifth. They're in the playoffs. They're really surprising me to be honest because they just well, I wouldn't say just they comfortably survived. Um, there was in a relegation battle most of the season last season, but this season. They're doing a Barnsley in a way. Their top goal scorer is Victor Goretzky. I don't know how to pronounce that, to be honest. He's got nine goals. Um, so, yeah, they've also got... Um, who's that player they've got? Tyler Walker. Tyler Walker, sorry. Um, who's got three goals this season. I remember he was linked with us, I believe, in the summer as well. And they've got Mark Robbins as their manager. He's doing bits for Coventry. Absolute bits. This is going to be a really hard game. But it is a derby. And anything can happen in derbies, as we know. Birmingham City, on the other hand, we lost our last two games. We lost to Hawk City 2-0. That was an abysmal performance. But in this game, the formation, I think it should be kept the same. That's what Lebo is going to do. He's not going to change the formation. But Sarkic and goal. Right wing back. Now, right wing back. I don't think we should play Ryan McGree there again. Because... I think he's better in that cam roll. Um, I mean, the evidence is there. We won three in a row when McGree was playing in that cam roll. So I think, you know, due to injuries, it's got to, it's going to have to be Ryan Woods right wing back, isn't it? Um, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, Sanderson, Dean and Roberts. I mean, I'm forced to start Dean in this game. I really don't want to put Harley Dean in at the back. But due, like I said, due to injuries yet again, it's going to have to happen, isn't it? Bella, left wing back. The two in the middle, Ivan Sunnich. Of course, Gary Garner is um, suspended for four games, so he's unavailable um, for the next couple of games. Now, Jordan, I think Jordan James had a brilliant game in the second half against Hull City, in my opinion. Um, some people might disagree in the comments. But Jordan James, I mean, he's showing promising signs. Promising signs. So I'll put him in next to Sunnich um, because... I, I think, you know, he, he did look good, didn't he? He did look good. Um, he looked, he was trying to move the ball forward. Um, you know, it was a breath of fresh air. Um, in that cam roll, Riley McGree. Riley McGree's got to start there. Please, Lebo, you don't play him as a wing-back. I know it's worked in the past, but this time, just, yeah, stick stick Riley McGree in that cam roll. And Scott Hogan and Troy Dingeny up front. Now, this game, like I said, it's a derby. Coventry are flying. We've had a bit of a blip after winning them three games in a row. I think the last four games have been draws. So I'm going to go for a Coventry win. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't see us getting anything from this game, to be honest. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go for a one. I think it'd be a really narrow game. It's a derby. I don't think Coventry, there's not, I don't think there's a scenario where Coventry batter us. You know, tomorrow night I might you might come back on this to this video and you know they could have beaten us like four or five nil, but I think it'd be one nil Coventry. I hate I hate predicting us to lose, you know. I really do hate predicting us to lose, but the last couple of games blues have had, I know we've had injuries yet again, I'll keep saying that. But I don't think any of them players are gonna be back anytime soon. So one nil Coventry. Um, I would be ecstatic if we can. Obviously, I'll be ecstatic if we can get three points. A point would really, a point would be brilliant as well. The next two games, Coventry and Blackpool, I'll be surprised if we get four points from them two games. I'll be surprised if um, we. I, I know. I don't know about the Blackpool game. I, I do think that's winnable. I know they're having a good season, but the Coventry this game tomorrow night, I don't see us winning. And I don't see us getting a draw. Let me know your predictions down below. How do you think this game is going to go? Are you confident? 
And yeah, it's been Kieran TV. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes, like I said. Leave your predictions in the comments. Yeah, yeah, all of that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Keep right on. See you soon.